Hey everyone, my name's Ichban and today we're going to be learning all about the Gaussian Blur filter in Photoshop. Gaussian Blur is easily one of my favorite filters in Photoshop. It's super quick and easy to use and it's helpful in a variety of situations such as reducing unwanted noise, grain and artifacting in your images. Say you want to overlay some text but the image is too busy and your text just doesn't pop out. You can use the Gaussian Blur filter to soften the image so your text stands out. You can also use the Gaussian Blur filter to mimic depth of field which allows you to control what's in focus and what's out of focus. This technique is super useful and allows you to guide your viewer's eyes throughout your image. Typically, this is only achievable in photography with expensive lenses, but today I'm gonna to show you how to achieve a similar effect in Photoshop. Okay, so let's jump into Photoshop. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to create a duplicate layer. This is so you can go back if you make any mistakes. To make a duplicate layer, hit Command or Control J, or you can simply drag the background to the plus sign here. All right, to add the Gaussian Blur, just go to the top filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. From there, a dialog box will pop up where you can control the radius, which is the strength of the blur. As you drag the radius slider up and down, you can see the changes in real time, which is super helpful. We're gonna go with about a seven and then hit OK. As you can see, it's added the Gaussian Blur to the image. From there, you can mess around with the opacity to get it to a strength that you like. As you can see, the entire image is soft with the Gaussian Blur. You might not want the entire image to be soft, so I'll teach you in the next example of how to bring some detail back. On to the next example of reducing noise, grain, or artifacts in your image. As you can see, this image is a film photo, so there's lots of natural grain. Gaussian Blur is a great way to reduce any unwanted grain, and this is how. Same as the previous example, we're gonna duplicate the layer, then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then we're gonna play with the strength and hit OK. Adjust the opacity to get it to where you like. This is with on, this is with off. As you can see, the Gaussian Blur has done a great job of smoothing out the grain, except the entire image is soft and I want the train guard to be sharp. So I'm gonna show you how to bring detail back after using Gaussian Blur. We're gonna make a quick subject selection by clicking the background layer. Click the quick selection tool or hit W on your keyboard. Then hit select subject. Adobe's AI will automatically cut the subject out for you. Pretty cool, huh? Now that you have the train guard selected, click layer one, which is the Gaussian Blur layer, then hit the layer mask button, which is down the bottom. You're gonna wanna hit Control I to invert the layer mask, and bam, the train guard's back in focus, while the rest of the image is nice and Gaussian blurred. Now we've reduced the grain in the image, but the train guard is nice and sharp. Here's a before and after. The result is quite subtle, but I like it. All right, on to the next use case of using Gaussian Blur to make your text overlays pop. As you can see in this example, the text doesn't really pop as it bleeds into the background and there's just too much going on. Add a little Gaussian Blur and bam, text pops from the page because the image is nice and soft now. Here's a more extreme example with an even busier photo. It just goes to show how much of a difference Gaussian Blur makes to text overlays. All right, as I mentioned at the start of this video, Gaussian Blur can simulate depth of field a technique that usually requires expensive cameras and lenses. Depth of field is where you can control what's in focus and what's not. So your subject is in focus here, and your background is nice, soft and blurry, which is often referred to as bokeh. With Gaussian Blur, you can simulate this depth of field and choose what is in focus and what is out of focus. Simply follow the steps in the previous examples of adding Gaussian Blur and using masking to bring your subject back into focus. Simulating depth of field is a super powerful technique. Our eyes are naturally drawn to what's sharpest in the image. In this example, it'll be the subject standing on the rock. All right, so those are the practical uses of Gaussian Blur, but don't be afraid to get creative and experiment a little. In this creative edit, asking to bring back only a certain amount of focus, which makes it look pretty surreal. And in this creative edit, I'm gonna use a Gaussian Blur in combination with a gradient mask. This softens the harsh lines in the bottom of the image and draws your eye right up to where the people are standing. Of course, there are plenty of other blur filters in Photoshop for you to play with, such as Radial Blur, Lens Blur, Tilt Shift Blur, Spin Blur, and plenty more. But I'll leave that up to you to experiment with. And that's all there is to it. Gaussian Blur is easily one of my favorite filters in Photoshop, and I'd highly recommend you give it a go too. My name's Ichiban, and you can catch me on Instagram and YouTube. See you on the next one.